Hello there, it's Brian Liberty, and in this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is hoarding disorder? Ooh, ah. All right, so what is hoarding disorder? Well, I'm going to get to that in just a second, but before I get to that, I just have to say that this is not the diagnostic criteria for hoarding disorder. Uh, this is not to be used to diagnose somebody. If you need a diagnosis, you'll have to see a licensed professional. These are just descriptions of what hoarding disorder appears like and to point you in the right direction if you think this is something that's going on in your life. If the label of hoarding disorder in some way doesn't help you in your healing, if it um, feels stigmatizing or something to you, you don't have to use the label. You can just let go of it. So again, this is just to point you in the direction of what may be happening in your situation or the situation of somebody that you love. So that out of the way, what is hoarding disorder? I've got notes I'm referencing here, and it is a persistent difficulty to get rid of possessions, um, items that you've accumulated, just despite whatever value that they have. So they could be worth millions of dollars, they could be worth a penny or nothing, um, but you have a difficult time getting rid of them for whatever reason. Um, this happens because there's a perception that the items must be saved and there's a stress around discarding the items or if somebody were to get rid of them for you, there's just a stress around not having those items of them leaving you. Now, um, because of hoarding disorder, active living areas can no longer be used for their intended purpose because the possessions are accumulating and taking up space. Uh, and if that's not the case, uh, there is a case where you get a hoarding disorder and that's not happening and that's when somebody else has come in to clean, such as a professional or a family member or friend or uh, like a government service has cleaned out the house. Uh, but in, in general, active living areas, you know, the like living rooms, kitchens, things like that, bathrooms, they you can't use them for their intended purpose because there's just too much stuff or clutter in the way. Uh, this causes everyday stress in, in your life, including having a safe environment for yourself and your guests. It's not due to a medical condition, such as a brain injury or cerebrovascular uh, disease or uh, Prader-Willi syndrome. And it's not better explained by another mental disorder like OCD, uh, major depressive disorder, schizophrenia, or another psychotic disorder major neurocognitive disorder or an autism, autism spectrum disorder. And it's not like normal normative collecting because normative collecting is organized and systematized. This is just collecting things just to have things. So there's a number of specifiers to clarify exactly what's going on while we're talking about uh, hoarding disorder. And here they are. So we've got with, with excessive acquisition. And what that means is that there's difficulty all these difficulties around getting rid of things results in having an excess of items that are not no longer needed, they were never needed, um, there's just not space for them. And this is uh, happening in 80 to 90 percent of cases with people who have hoarding disorder. There's also the specifier of with good or fair insight, which means that you recognize that your beliefs around these items are probably or definitely not true. There's with poor insight, which means you think that the beliefs are most likely true. And there's also with absent insight or with delusional beliefs, which means that you completely accept that those beliefs are true. Uh, there is treatment for hoarding disorder, and that includes exposure and response prevention, as well as medication if there's too much anxiety. Of course, you want to see a professional and they'll be able to put together a plan for you. Now, I noted down that there it may be a little bit harder to spot hoarding disorder in children and adolescents because parents may have control over the living space and they may clean up after the children and adolescents. Uh, and also, there's a 75% comorbidity comorbidity with another mood disorder or an, or an anxiety disorder when it comes to hoarding disorders. So 75% of people who have hoarding disorder will also have a mood or an anxiety disorder. Up to 50% of cases, somebody with hoarding disorder is going to also have major depressive disorder, and 20% of people with hoarding disorder meet the criteria for obsessive compulsive disorder. So interesting to note. So what does it feel like to have hoarding disorder? Well, in your body, the physical things you're going to feel are symptoms of anxiety. So you may have a racing heart sometimes, shortness of breath, chest pain, uh, muscle pain, uh, maybe tingling in the extremities of your body, those kinds of things. As far as the way that you're thinking, what's going on in your mind, um, 
You may think that things are worth more than they actually are. Uh, you may feel responsible in some way for the objects in your home or in your living space. You, and you may have just have a general belief that it's wasteful to get rid of things. Emotionally, you're probably going to feel attachment to the objects that are surrounding you, uh, even if those objects don't have any value. And you may be afraid of losing important information that the objects contain. And as far as behavior, that's kind of what we notice when we talk about hoarding disorder. You'll be hoarding any items, you know, things like old clothing, bags, newspapers, magazines, books, bags, um, said bags twice there, paperwork, mail. Uh, you may have piles of items. You may have to move things off of the table or the chairs or the bed or the sink of the stove in order to be able to use those things. Uh, and you may become very stressed, possibly lash out when somebody attempts to remove things from your living space. Uh, you may also have piles of things that, you know, if, if it's gotten too much in the house, it may have gone outside onto the lawn, something else to just be aware of. So I hope that that's given you a well-rounded look at what hoarding disorder is. It is a stressful thing. It's not like a joke or some kind of one-off thing. It's definitely a stressful experience for the person who's going through it. So if you know somebody like this, it would be great to see if you could help them to get them into treatment. Um, if you have an experience with somebody with hoarding disorder or if you have it yourself, I'd love to hear your experience. So please leave it below and I thank you for taking the time to learn about it with me today. Hey, it's Ryan Liberty. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up, share with a friend and leave any questions or comments down below because that would really help me out. If you're somebody who's gone through a traumatic event and you're feeling cut off from the people around you, I have a free course that will help with that, so please click to get it. And if you'd like to see the rest of my videos, please click subscribe. As always, I want to remind you that your life matters. Nobody can question your worth. However it is that you're feeling, whatever it is that you're going through, it's okay and you are loved. Thanks again for watching.